What's good, everybody? It's your boy Sports PSP in the building. Hope you are all enjoying your Friday morning, afternoon, evening, whatever the case may be. Anyway, I want to get into some football news. In case you haven't heard it, according to ESPN's Adam Schefter and NFL Network's Ian Rappaport, the Carolina Panthers have traded Christian McCaffrey to the San Francisco 49ers. On top of that, the Carolina Panthers, in return, will receive a 2023 second, third, and fourth round pick. In addition, a 2024 fifth round pick. And the uh, San Francisco 49ers, in return, get Christian McCaffrey. So, big takeaway. The Panthers are clearly in tanking mode. They are in tanking mode. As we speak, they are about what one in four, one in five this season. Um, they clearly need help at the quarterback position. Uh, Baker Mayfield, Sam Darnold, they're going to be gone. Whether they're going to be departed, released, traded, whatever the case may be, they are going to be gone. Carolina will probably end up getting the number one overall pick. First time since 2011 when they drafted Cam Newton straight out of Auburn. They will end up getting the number one overall pick. And they'll probably draft either Bryce Young from Alabama, the reigning Heisman Trophy winner, or Ohio State's C.J. Stroud, who, in my opinion, is the favorite to win the Heisman Trophy. Although you can make an argument for Hendon Hooker from Tennessee or anybody else. But that's a story for another day. Either way, Carolina is going to draft a quarterback in 2023. And um, they're going to get mad draft compensation. As I said, 2023, a second, third, and fourth round pick. And in 2024, a fifth round pick. So Carolina, they're clearly taking. Um, I'm happy for them because they're going to move on and they're going to accumulate draft picks and they're going to build their future. As for the San Francisco 49ers, this is a big step for them offensively because Christian McCaffrey, I believe he will be rejuvenated and San Francisco adds another running component to the offense with him and Debo Samuel. I wish that Trey Lance was healthy because he would add another component to the running dimension between him, Debo, and Christian McCaffrey and Kyle Shanahan would spend a lot of time drawing up plays. But either way, Kyle Shanahan, he adds Christian McCaffrey to the offense. They're going to draw up so many plays. Um, Kyle, uh, Christian McCaffrey is going to be back home in Cali. He played college football at the University at Stanford. Um, this is going to be great for the 49ers offense. And I believe it's going to make the offense even more formidable. And I see San Francisco winning the division because if you look at the nfc west you look at the rams right now matt stafford hasn't been playing good football he's thrown six touchdowns to eight interceptions he leads the nfl right now in interceptions um seattle even though no russell wilson but still three and three um and geno smith has the highest completion percentage right now and to his credit he's clearly outperforming russell wilson so I want to give Seattle their credit, but only time will tell. We don't know how, I don't know how far Seattle's going to go this season. And then you look at Arizona. Yes, they won last night against um, the New Orleans Saints. And clearly Kyler and Cliff Kingsbury got into a heated exchange. But I just don't see Arizona winning the division this year. I think this is San Francisco's year. They have a very legit defense, of course. And with the offense now adding Christian McCaffrey to the puzzle, I'm sorry, not the puzzle, but to the mix, it's definitely going to be even exciting. So um, to me right now, I think the Panthers won this trade because of the draft picks that they've accumulated and their future moving forward. So in the future, Carolina won. But for right now, it's San Francisco because they're trying to figure out what they can do right now 
in order to get themselves in the best possible chance to not only get back to the NFC Championship game, but let alone get into a Super Bowl and winning a Super Bowl. So anyway, let me know in the comment section below who won this trade. And also, if there is one person, I hate to say this, but it must be said. If anybody deserves culpability for all these trades regarding Christian McCaffrey, Rodney Anderson, and the firing of Matt Rule, although they've been there longer than this individual, the person who deserves most of the blame, Baker Mayfield. His play this season has been awful. Sorry. And I hate saying it because, again, I love OU. Baker, Heisman Trophy winner, number one overall pick. But, and I, I've said it in my earlier videos, guys, I've said Baker Mayfield is just, at this point, a jag. Just a guy. He has not been playing well this season. And the Panthers, they're going to move on from him. And what we've seen so far with Baker, any place that he goes... Team uh, coaches or players are gone. Hugh Jackson, the first head coach, is gone. Uh, Freddie Kitchens is gone. The reason why Freddie Kitchens became the head coach in Baker Mayfield's second year with the Cleveland Browns is because of the relationship. He ends up gone. Kevin Stefanski becomes the head coach. Does a great job with Baker Mayfield in their first year together. 26 touchdowns, 8 interceptions Baker Mayfield had that led to the Cleveland Browns getting to the playoffs, and winning a playoff game against the Pittsburgh Steelers. But last year, Baker didn't play particularly well. On top of that, he got hurt. Odell Beckham Jr. ends up released by the Cleveland Browns. He ends up getting picked up by the Los Angeles Rams. And then ultimately, Odell wins the Super Bowl with the Rams. It just seems like everywhere Baker goes... Players and coaches go. And Baker, unfortunately, is the common denominator. There's no other way to look at it. I'm sorry, guys. And I hate saying it because I do love Baker Mayfield, but he is the common denominator. It just seems like players and coaches leave anytime whenever Baker is there. And after this season, Baker's going to be gone. So... Also, let me know in the comment section below, do you believe Baker Mayfield deserves the blame just as much, if not more blame, for the departures? And um, who won the trade, either Carolina or San Francisco? Aside from that, it's your boy Sports PSP. Hope you all enjoy your Friday. I'll try to come up with as more football, basketball, sports content as possible. So anyway, enjoy the rest of your day. And God bless.